Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Mercedes GLC. We're gonna check it in depth, interior, exterior details. So without further ado, let's just jump into the review. So this is the new GLC. Uh, here's the key. As you can see, this is the key from the S-Class now. Uh, you get the uh, lock, unlock, and open the cargo. Uh, it's wrapped in this plastic. The car hasn't been sold yet. You can unlock the car, see the LED lights. There's a gimmick on the rear. I'm gonna show you that as well. So this is the uh, standard package. Wish we had the AMG line, but uh, this is also quite good looking in my opinion. Now, uh, look at this beauty. It's nice and big, big real big star, and it looks ready to take off some light off-roading. So we have a new grill. Uh, there's actually uh, flaps that open or close. One strike, big star is the radar for cruise and emergency braking, 360 parking there, 180 fish eye lens degree camera. So over here, little air intake on the bottom, a little chrome on the Mercedes always at the base package. This is closed, parking sensors, front and rear standard, have plain black going around, so to protect it if you're going a little bit off-roading, at least light off-roading. Once again, you can see uh, turn signal on the top or when you unlock the car. So the daytime running light turns into a turn signal. You have also this strikes and look at this new digital LED lights. You have two lenses on the top and three projectors at the bottom and this beautiful blue 3D shape. Of course, Mercedes Benz inside. The car looks gorgeous. Still has a classical GLC. We're gonna check the, the spec later. You have the uh, lane assist camera light and rain sensor. You can get traffic light camera as extra. And over here an extra, there's a speaker in the top of the dash. Now if I back up, you can see the profile of the car. Still same GLC that we love. And you can see that nice protection at the bottom once again. And this, you can get the chrome surrounding around the windows and chrome roof racks. Slim design, better aerodynamics. You can see the side camera for 360 parking. There's a puddle light, wind reflector, and there are some additional cameras here and sensors here for blind spots. So this car is getting better and better in uh, package. Now, I'm gonna keep the key in the pocket. Uh, you can see there is some, like a PPF perhaps, uh, so you don't scratch uh, the handles. Uh, standard tint on the rear, it's optional Mercedes. And you can inspect the panel roof. This car doesn't have that. Spoiler is integrated in the body for the most part. Now, if I press the unlock button, which is just stored away. If I lock the car, you can see the turn signals. And then if I unlock it, you can see the gimmick quite nice it also fades out when uh, you lock the car and when, or when you leave the car it locks automatically of course and I like the new LED tail lights they just look um, more up-to-date with the rest of the new like the new S class they just look nice I know people didn't like the facelift of the previous generation uh, so much but these really look nice especially like on the new C class and E class and I love this, they're like smoked dark and then you have this in black, so it's quite nice. Still too much leatherings on the top for Matic of course. Uh, and you have LED license plates, there's a camera that pops up here, it's hidden, only opens when you're reversing. Press here to open, I'm gonna do that in a moment and uh, just to show you of course, uh, now standard fake exhaust, you have uh, dual exhaust on the left. Now let's press the open, maybe the car locked itself, it's possible, so let me use the key then. Uh, huge thanks to Mercedes-Benz in Bucharest for uh, giving me the key to review the car. So you can use the key fob there, and if I back up you can see the whole car in the perspective. Now this opens quite tall, I'm a 2 meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet, and this is quite tall opening, so watch when you're in garage. You can of course program the height of this. Nice Mercedes-Benz features red and white underneath. 
lights. Uh, you can hold this to program the height. You can close here as well. It's plain at the top. And then uh, this is the cover. You can open it up and you can see massive cargo space. Uh, I'm gonna type the liters in. Now you can knock down the seats 60, 40 or 40, 40, 20. Now you have a flat bottom entry. Uh, this wasn't adjusted, this is supposed to fall down, but uh, I don't think this top cover is blocking it. This is uh, like rubber and textile, you can see that. So this is an extra option. If I would take this out, you can see that looks, there's a textile there. Uh, checking inside, you can knock down the seats electronically on the right. Grocery hooks, little tab maybe for first aid or triangle, emergency triangle. You have tether points there and there, all four sides. You have a net on the left. You can take out, also same here. Full outlet is on the left. And you have those three points for the tether point for the child seat. Aluminium doorstep at flat entry, that's practical. And over here you can see massive space, really massive. We can also put like a patching kit there, uh, extra space. And there is this hook over here. You can put it up here. Oops. It's harder when you have this on the top. So there it is. There it is. You can see that you have one light, warm light on the other side. Now to put this back, you have to put this guy inside this so it holds here there's an emergency triangle there and a toe hitch now again once again this is kind of in the way so this is not properly sitting down but once it does sit down it's flat completely and it's practical because you can sit down you're covered if you want to go camping with your family so it's nice to spend some quality time with a family in this car you have vents there and uh, in the seat pillar you have speakers I'm gonna close this up you can of course push this to the side you can remove this and store it underneath let's close this up of course you can use the key and another look at this beautiful SUV it's just sorry for a little shake uh, it's just really elegant and curved very aerodynamic now let's check the luxury details inside. Now let me see if I can just uh, press to open. Nope. So I'm still using the key. I guess someone didn't spec the um, keyless entry. Opening and closing sound. Solid Mercedes. Good seals on the top going all the way around. And the doors don't go all the way down, but still you have this quality protection this is soft, of course. We have some uh, information here. Uh, Roman 5 meaning this is factory tint. And you can see here black, some sort of orange leather or brown. Have uh, white lights. Of course, you can change the colors of the ambient lights. This is all high quality made. Speakers there. I'm not sure. So this is like, no, this is not focal. Uh, Mercedes has. Uh, I think Burmeister you can spec as an option. So these are like standard. Uh, there's this is hard plastic at the bottom. You can put a water bottle there. You can see those ambient lights now in the color. Also here, everything is nicely illuminated. Now you can see the inside. You can open up here. It automatically pushes down. So there is a room for a seat buckle here if you're knocking down the seats. And there is an option to push this up. So you can have this in upright position if you have cargo and you need a different shape. Lock it up. Uh, ISO fix is underneath. So this is actually rubberized. It's plastic, but this part is rubberized. Now you have footwell and ambient lights. Really high quality texture on the leather, uh, perforated really comfortable seats let's jump inside there's plenty of 
uh, feet room, plenty of knee room for a two meter tall person uh, and a 6.6 .6 in feet. We have two air vents. Oh, this is rubberized a little space here. It looks like it's like earth, eyes and a mouth. It's kind of funny, the design language here. And uh, this is a bit wide, the transmission tunnel, not too tall. I'll leave the key here for a moment. And the seats are quite comfortable and wide. Uh, this one's also very soft, so it's not a huge deal if you put a third person on the rear. All the more comfortable for two people. Armrest is here. Press, you put a tablet here. And I'm not sure if like double press to extend cup holders. I don't want to uh, like push anything out. So I might be wrong. Yeah, it's just like tablet holder there. So you can see the seat buckle there. Sorry, just camera is attached to a charger. So if you have the seat belt here, you have a seat belt aligner. There's a little tab so it doesn't go all the way down. That has to how it looks. Big tall windows, seat pillar as well. You can adjust the headrest, good overview in the rear. Uh, dark roof aligner. You have a hooks on the rear, all four sides slowly closing handles, and you have a little reader light. Uh, you can also turn the other light on if you turn on the main lights. You can adjust the seat belt on the front. Let me hear the closing sound. It's quite a good closing sound solid soundproof this is the beautiful front we're gonna get there in a moment and it's dark but there's i can straighten up my back i can straighten up my head loads of headspace so this is a proof for a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6. so that's your uh, entry basketball player height uh, let's get on the front so i love the glc uh, i love the previous face of the previous gen all of this looks quite the same but I like this one as well. I like the flush design. You can see blind spot and blind spot warning. Good closing sound. Front doors open even wider. And good seals. Look at this texture of the leather. High quality, you have the speaker here. Black leather. Again, same materials as on the rear. Uh, you can lock or unlock you can adjust electronically the seats here and you have memory and heated option another speaker you can lock the rear for the kids all power windows are automatic and uh folding and electric adjustable side mirrors you can open here from the driver position and there is like a rubber mat here for the water bottle it has this shape so it holds it here doesn't go up uh, back and forward Mercedes-Benz illuminated aluminium doorstep right there and let's check the seat so you have a lumbar only here uh, quite nice it looks like lava seats from the S-Class but like now that level of S-Class but quite good you can see this leather design it's exquisite uh, headrest is adjustable but electronically automatic standard pedals electronic parking brake lights keep them on automatic you can like switch uvs and fog lights at the bottom electronic steering column or press to wash on mercedes and you have more ambient lights in there you can see at the top as well you also have ambient lights there so i'm going to jump to the driver's seat now i did adjust it to my height so on the rear there's plenty of room Good closing sound. I'm switching to wide lens, and voila! So this is same as the new C-Class. And there's a little 12 volt uh, battery warning, so I'll be fast. And uh, I like what I see. Sorry for a little shake. And we have the well. It's not anymore a new steering wheel, but it is the latest generation. Uh, in the AMG package, we get the flat bottom. Uh, the, over here this would like two spokes but I like this classical one to be honest this is just my personal taste you have here cruise controls on the top a little house and okay for the infotainment of course you know that and here sliders for the volume voice controls phone calls and so on over here there's different specs you can choose um, 
soft touch plastics on the front and on the back. Uh, these are the new air vents. They illuminate open or closed. There's a side vent going there. And it's a nice overview, beautiful speaker at the top. And just going through the dash, uh, this is the start stop and auto start stop off. Uh, of course, this is the parking automatic in Mercedes press to park and you saw press to wash and over here you have the wiper controls and turn signals and automatic headlights uh, for the long beam I think if I'm not mistaken and a uh, new screen it's nice and big new MBUX infotainment tilted a little bit towards the driver and everything it looks on high quality premium level of course slowly opening uh, big glove compartment uh, as you can see that there's nice flint look at that that's just enormous space in there uh, there's lights I'm not sure if there's AC I don't feel anything uh, now for the uh, Romanian audience if you can see that uh, there's a price list I'm gonna show the spec on the back as well of course uh, there's no nets here on the side seats are quite comfortable and just to show you here, you can change driving modes, cameras, car, menu, hazards. I like how Mercedes changed this. Uh, there's a little fingerprint reader and on off infotainment, mute and uh, press to uh, change the volume. Uh, you can choose this instead of the piano black that looks, as you can see, horrible. I don't need even explain. You can see with your eyes, adjustable cup holders. This one could be folded in there's a wireless charger inside actually let's just press the start stop for a moment press twice to turn on electronics you can see the blind spot there and you can see the ambient lights now how that looks ambient lights the vents as well it's a disco some people like that some people don't and then over here you also have those ambient lights you can see there wireless charger for your phone so you can use your phone without driving it's safer USB-C there press this to close and then over here you can see that two USB-C's more um, not sure if this is like it's not a card holder uh, there's a little tray there that could be removed I think should be able to remove that uh, it goes back and forward you can take it out so you can see that uh, it's not us, you know, for smoking. You can see if we turn on the LED lights on the top, that is quite generous there. You can see that what quite better. And uh, this could slide back and forward. You know, you can put it where you want. So it's quite good illumination and checking the top. Uh, good overview on the rear. A baseless mirror. Uh, it has auto dimming. Uh, you can see the lights warm lights you can see the emergency button there uh, lights for the interior for the rear mercedes me lights off um, and passenger airbag information of course this would be a slider in case you had the banner roof spec uh, and over here uh, as you can see there is document holder and there is warm light privacy mirror uh, let's see if this extends so this area is not covered but it doesn't extend unfortunately uh, roof liner is soft now uh, to the infotainment let's just uh, so this one's for the right screen this is for the left left screen if you press here you can see you can change through you have to swipe through these you can ch change to sport this changes the color of the main screen um, and you can see you have to use I'm not a huge fan of this taptic buttons but you can see you can use the classic navigation assistance and off-road so this is something that's different you won't get it in the standard car off-road you can see it's quite sharp graphics and beautiful animations there's so many inside menus I'm not gonna cover them all uh, there's service options there's assistance I'm just gonna swipe through these so you can see just a little bit the navigation it's massive classical as you saw and uh, this is more like more modern design. 
in this one you can swipe for the assistant and so on uh, but let's just, I'm just gonna leave it at uh, the classical there uh, I know this is overwhelming at first but once you get used to it it's not a huge deal uh, the bottom you always have AC controls I'm not gonna turn them on because of the full battery uh, you have the home menu here so you can see here you can move through the apps uh, there's a navigation on the top once you press it it turns on the navigation quite beautiful and it's quite nice from the driver position you have a good overview and it's quite handy the infotainment has so many options beautiful animations uh, it does look a little bit design wise like Windows Vista but it's not that bad it's actually quite responsive and this is the off-road uh, system you can see here tilt GPS uh, and so on you can see here downhill assist if you press that you can see it there and I don't know manual uh, cameras so you can see all the cameras uh, I guess on the rear it's quite cool and over here you can change uh, efficiency you can change off-road uh, active driving program uh, eco comfort sport or individual where you can press here and then customize all the settings uh, you want uh, this is assistance I think I accidentally pressed another menu you can move the car you can choose all the information beautiful look at this this is fast it has a nice fast processor and GPU uh, you have here assistance lights dynamic low beam spotlight exterior interior lighting uh, ambient lights you can edit settings of course you can change uh, like multiple lights uh, that you like inside you can have a multicolor so it has like presets here I'm not gonna go through all of these but uh, it's just it looks uh, amazing you can change the brightness of the individual you can have especially for the climate warm or cold blue red and I think I'm gonna wrap it here because this would be really long but it's just the car is amazing this is such an amazing SUV if you like tech uh, this is altogether a little bit more wrapped up towards the um, you know uh, Chinese market uh, but and flashy for some people but it is really nice and feels premium I'm gonna turn it off and we're gonna jump out and <clears throat> I'm gonna show you the uh, what's underneath the bonnet so you pull it's underneath here a red one put it once so there is a projection from the light there so left of the badge push up you can see that and you can see what's under the hood and how it looks You can see the cover. Now, for the driver, wash your fluid. Should be marked blue, sometimes it's black. So, I'm sure you're gonna find it, it's over there. And I let it drop. So just to return the key. Just return the key. Uh, to get to the spec, uh, this is the GLC 220D formatic. 9G Tronic, so 9 speed automatic. Uh, I think this is a uh, 194 horsepower. I'm assuming petrol, maybe rather than diesel, but I don't know. Diesels are more popular in SUVs. Now, uh, I think this is a uh, price in. Uh, we're in Romania, Bucharest might be their price, including that, uh, excuse me, value added tax. Uh, without options, with options, uh, monthly option probably our monthly lease price uh, at the bottom I think one uh, this is said it says in euros but there's not not a dot here so I'm not really sure but uh, take it uh, there I'm sure the configurer is gonna get opened quite soon so you'll be able to spec your own car and uh, before we wrap up I wanted to see if I can switch the lights on
Nope, I returned the key, but uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm sure you gotta see it uh, once you get the car. But again, keep your lights on automatic. Do not drive with your daytime running lights at night. Uh, that's just dangerous if you don't have your main light on. Uh, once again, to show you the rear lights and turn signals, looks quite nice. I really do like the new signature on the rear, but the front lights are also amazing looking. They're quite minimalist, but again, fresh and they look new. So tell me how they like the new design on the GLC. We cut to the video. Uh, we have the lights on so you can see the two LED lenses, how it looks when it's on, digital lights. Once again, closer look at the rear new design of the LED taillights. Again, love the black connection and they're smoked. The full car doesn't look bad for Avantgarde package. So everyone, thank you for watching. This is the new GLC. I hope you like it. Smash the like button if you do, share it your friends or someone who might be interested in the car or mercedes-benz forums and i'm gonna see you in the next one if you want to see more from bukarest auto show subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get notified when i upload new videos stay safe bye